big roast turkey with all the trimmings and apple pie, $67. A full house. Priceless. Use your MasterCard or enter online and you could win a house in our A Home for the Holidays sweepstakes. After a while I saw the tension rising high between the Christian and the Muslim regime. We lost our possession. My mother's, my mother's, mother suffered depression. And because of this, I was forced to be a war child. I'm a war child. His parents dead, a soldier in the Sudanese Liberation Army is sent to Ethiopia to train for combat. The soldier is seven years old. All my life I've been hiding in the jungle. The pain I'm cutting is too much to handle. At an age when little boys are playing with toy guns, recording artist Emmanuel Jaw was shooting real ones. On the brink of starvation, he was confronted with horrendous choices. One of my songs talk about the children in Darfur, he talks about a situation where I was tempted to eat a rotten flesh of my comrade. He talked about a lot of stuff that I've gone through. Jaws' prayers were answered when a British aid worker rescued him from the conflict in Sudan and enrolled him in school in neighboring Kenya. At the age of 20, Emmanuel found himself listening to church choirs and became inspired to write music. Music has no boundary, you know. Uh, and I can give an example, even though in the time we're in war in Sudan, but the music produced by the northern people, we danced to it, and they danced to our music. So, but politically we don't agree, so, so it's, music is just like love, basically. You can't stop it. When it happens, it just penetrates. During the Sudanese Civil War, it was music that proved to Jal he shared common ground with his enemy. Now it was Jal's mission to share that idea with the world. Hip-hop came naturally. Jal saw it as being similar to music from home. <laughs> That's one of uh, my friends, he sings like that. And then I could rap on the same beat, like, sometime I stop in the street and close my eyes, everything I see, so, it's part of hip hop, but that's the sound of the village with the sticks. Sometime I stop in the street and close my eyes, everything I see make me so sad. When I think about it, I go mad. I walk with fear, cause I don't wanna hear the news I hear, make me wanna cover my yes. While some of his songs speak to the horrors of war, he believes music can be a great source of healing. I believe I've survived for a reason to tell my story to touch lives. To motivate people, inspire them, and challenge them to make a difference up to the point that I'm, I'm done with what I'm doing. Who's there please to light up my candle? Is there anyone to hear my cry? Here I am, pale and dry. Born and lead us when I wonder why. I'm a This presentation copyright National Geographic Society 2006.